Well, it had already been an amazing week for Henry de Bromhead, winning the champion hurdle, winning the champion chase, but now he's just saddled the 1-2 in the Cheltenham Gold Cup, headed by Manila Indo. You're shaking your head at me. You can't believe it, can you? No, I can't at all. Uh, I've said it a few times now, it's getting boring, but I think I'm still in the hotel. It's Monday night. I'm about to, the alarm will go off. I'm about to get up. The week is starting. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's ridiculous. But you know what? It's it's all down to the crew at home. Uh, they, you know, they work so hard. Everyone here um, and and all our clients. They're so, you know, you couldn't do it without the horses. They're so supportive of us. The Maloney's are brilliant. Uh, Chiefly Park and Thompson's, you know, all our clients, amazing. So feel very fortunate, and um, and I mean, yeah, that's it. Like, yeah, it's crazy. How much pressure do you feel? You listed all of those people who invest so much of their dreams with you. How much pressure do you feel? I like you. You know, there's probably you know whether it's here or where, you know anywhere there's always a different story with every horse and every client and whatever and not that any of them would particularly put you under pressure no one does but you just want to success and you want to be successful and you want to achieve for them because they've put their faith in you yeah I'm thinking so, about the pressure you put yourself under. yeah absolutely yeah yeah you would you know so um uh, so it's incredible when you get a week like this. These are this is crazy stuff. It's just you know there's no <laughs> it's not reality. Um, it's it's incredible. Yeah. And <clears throat> what, what I'm going horser and horser. By <laughs> it's this understandable. Second. It's understandable. <laughs> to focus on the winner initially, Manila Indo. He's obviously a horse of huge ability. He's won an Albert Bartlett. He ran really well, huge in the RSA, and we saw what Alaho did yesterday. Absolutely. But the jumping had just seemed to come a little bit unravelled this season. What have you done to bring him back to that? Well, funny, he jumped brilliant in, um, he jumped brilliant his first day this year at Wexford. He's always been a brilliant jumper. And he was brilliant at um, Navan. And then we went to Leopardstown, first time out of his sort of company, novice company. Uh, they were both second season novices, the first two he won. And he just, yeah, he just made a silly mistake, you know. Um, so the Irish Gold Cup was probably never really the plan prior to falling. But we needed a clear round somewhere so um you know rachel went like they were the instructions you know what like jump out and try and get a clear round whatever we do uh, and then obviously win from there so um we haven't really we haven't really done a whole lot we schooled him a bit jack jumped him a few times and he's he's always jumped really well you know i think it was just a silly mistake and funny, everyone, I, I didn't think he jumped that, I thought he jumped well at Leopardstown uh, in the Irish Gold Cup, but a um, few people thought he hadn't. I know he made a mistake at the second last, but other than that, I thought he, he had jumped well. I thought he was just a bit hesitant, but it sounds yeah. like actually Rachel was probably being careful, so it was possibly, the other way around. Yeah, possibly. You know, he's a fella that needs, you know, and, and you know, like I say, we, our, our objective was, you know, get around. Obviously, we didn't want another fall, you know. And obviously this was a really difficult decision for uh, Rachel because she's been so formative in both the career of Manila Indo and Apluta. Absolutely, yeah. How, how difficult was it? Did you get some insight from her on that? I didn't go too much into it. I, I don't like to push her either way. I like to, you know, I'd hate to put her the wrong way. Um, so I didn't go, but, I, I, you know, she, it was, like, so borderline. And, um, you know, it's disappointing for her, but obviously it's amazing for Jack. But but you know, it, 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 um, I, like that's but that's part of it, isn't it? Sadly, and, and uh, yeah, she still had a great run on with that, <laughs> with APT. Yeah, and he was amazing. I'm sure it hurts right now, but when she looks back on the week, I, I think she'll probably be oh, fine. She was delighted for us, delighted for the horse, delighted for the Maloneys. She's over the moon. For well, she's us, a proper yeah. team player, absolutely. Uh, hugely. And when Jack, when did you, did you get Jack Kennedy? When did you know that he was going to be available? Or was he your your immediate thought? Um, yeah, well, no, because I didn't think he would be available, to be honest. Uh, we had um, we were uh, in discussions with one other, and that didn't work out. And um, and then when we started thinking a bit deeper, it suddenly dawned on me Jack was available as well, uh, or it, there was every chance he'd be available. Sam Crow was still in the race, and um, yeah, thankfully he was, and he came down and he schooled him, got on great with him. 
So uh, it's all worked out a treat, as they say. It does. And yeah. it says the thing about it as well, the, the strength of your team that you're able to call upon. Rachel Blackmore and Jack Kennedy, two jockeys that have lit up this week at Cheltenham, yeah. haven't they? Yeah, they're two amazing riders. Uh, but there's so many, but, but they, they really are. Um, yeah, look, we were so lucky to get Jack, like you say. Um, he's so much experience in the top races. He's a very cool character, I find. <laughs> Pretty much late, very laid back, which is great, and nothing seems to phase him. He actually looked emotional there when he came in, which was a surprise. Uh, great guy, and uh, you know he's come through. He's had a great. Um, he's been brought through brilliantly by the lads, you know, and he's he's got a massive career in front of him. And how about Barry Maloney? This must be so precious to him. It's such a shame he can't. I know it. it's a real shame. I'm just talking to them there now. He's talking to his brother Mike because Barry never answers his bloody his phone, which is really annoying. So uh, but, even when uh, he's won a gold cup. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> so look, they're ecstatic. I mean, you know, with them, it's start at Cheltenham and work your way back every season. That's what you know with their horses. That's what we like to do, and they love it here. Um, they've been coming here for years uh, with their dad for many years. Unfortunately, he passed away a couple of years ago. But there's a great crew of them. I'm sure Uncle Noel is with them as well. And um, yeah, look, it's fantastic. It's just brilliant. They're and great supporters of ours. And how about for you? I mentioned at the start of the interview, a champion hurdle, champion chase, one, two in the Gold Cup. You're pretty much going to be champion trainer this week. How much of this do you feel is, is a sort of watershed moment? I don't want to overstate the importance of a British race meeting to an Irish trainer, but it is the Cheltenham Festival. In terms of the breadth and depth of your team and then the next generation coming through, you've got Bob Ollinger as well. How significant do you feel this moment is for you? Oh, look, it's massive. You know, as we always say, this is the Olympics, the pinnacle. I think the results this week have confirmed why I get so frustrated at home, you know, because every day you go out, like it's just so competitive, like it's ridiculous and you're going out with good horses getting beaten and you're like, you know, how are they getting beaten, you know, so for us, look, it's amazing, but as I say, none of it would happen without the people that are working with us and without our clients that support us, I mean, they're, they're incredible, you know, if I say I want to buy a horse, it's very rare they say no, you know, and it's it, it's brilliant. It's to, to get that support is amazing. Well, they trust you to deliver it. And all of this success, Henry, is really richly deserved. I'm so pleased for you and all of your team. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.